In this video, we will be talking about how to configure your Pavlov VR server. In order to configure the server, you need to have a server. If you don't already have a server, you can go to arctic-vr.com and order a server, pay them the money, and you will get an email that looks like this. Now, if you don't see this in your inbox, make sure to check the spam folder. This will contain your Archon credentials. Archon stands for remote connection and is the method to control your server. You'll get an IP, a port, and a password via your email. The next thing you do is go to pavlovarchon.com and you take your IP, paste it into IP, take your port, paste it into port, and your password into this tool, and then you will be logged in into your server. Now once you are into your server, you will notice that, wait a second, I entered my map rotation to be SVR underscore John McDonald's and my map's on data center. Why isn't this working? Well, that's because Pavlov recently changed from Unreal Engine 4 to Unreal Engine 5, and along with this change, we now have Mod.io. Mod.io is the map repository for all of the Pavlov custom maps. This is no longer the correct format. The correct format uses your Mod.io page. So for example, if we want to set our server to McDonald's, it is no longer SVR something McDonald's. We go here, and since we're Shack, we have to select Oculus so that only the Quest maps will show in the web page on Mod.io. You can see that this is a mix of both PC VR and Shack maps. For example, the Kino uh, COD-Z testing map, it's not available on Quest. That's a PC only uh, map. Make sure Oculus is selected, find the map you want. In this case, we want McDonald's. You will notice over here on the right is the resource ID. This is what Pavlov now uses. Copy your resource ID go to add map rotation and add the letters UGC, user generated content, and then paste your map resource ID that you wanna add. This is the new format for Quest Maps and PCVR Maps for Pavlov. You can go ahead and add this to the map rotation, refresh the list, and you'll see you now have this in the list but you're still on data center John McDonald's, so you need to remove that from the map rotation. You can refresh the list, click that, run that command, and if we refresh the list, you can see that it's no longer there. We can also remove sand if we don't want sand, but do not remove everything from your server. There needs to be something in your map rotation. If you remove everything from your map rotation, your server will break and you will need to email info at arctic-vr.com to fix your server. Do not do this. If you want to remove this and add SAN TTT as the only map in rotation, first add SAN TTT to the map rotation and then you can go and remove your uh, other custom map. Server rotation cannot be empty at any point, otherwise your server will break. If you would like to set your server to the official maps built into Pavlov, you can see the list on our website or the wiki. They just use the name. So bunker is just bunker and station is just station. There is no UGC or numbers, you just spell out the name. Going down from the list, we can enable or disable competitive mode. This is only for SMD. Uh, this prevents spectating, so you won't enter dollhouse mode or fly around when you're dead. You can remove the pin from the server. You can rotate the map to the next one in the list. So if we were on sand TTT and then sand push, and we would like to rotate the map, we can run this command and it will go from whatever map it's on to the next one in the list. And then I'll just repeat to the first one. The balancing table is a way to control 
the variables for the various guns in the game. Here you can see the 5.7, you can change its cost and base damage and all that. How you change this is outlined on the balance table GitHub page. And then you can paste in the URL link into here, should look something like that, and then set the balance table URL. Limited ammo, this is for setting limited ammo on a server-wide basis. The options one through four are pretty garbage. If you want unlimited ammo, set it to zero. Or if you want limited ammo, stick with boxless mode. If you do one through four, you have some variation of boxes of ammunition that you have to deal with on your chest and it's kind of a pain in the ass. So this will get overridden for TTT or other custom game modes. You can set the maximum number of players for your server. The maximum is 24. If you set your server to 50 players, your server will not show up in the server list. You can set a pin for your server. This is a four digit pin, not this, that. That's what you can use, a four digit pin. If you wanna remove it later, there's a remove pin. There's a time limit. Um, the maximum is 600 minutes. You shouldn't really set this larger than that. The minimum is five minutes. Most game modes override this setting, such as TTT or custom game modes. But if you're in something like uh, zombies or deathmatch and you wanna just have it go on for a while, you can set it to 600. This is also useful for RP game modes that uh, you don't want to have rotate the map very often. Show name tags. This will toggle whether or not name tags are visible on a server-wide basis. And setting the name, you can change the name of your server. And it will update. There is a profanity filter for Pavlov and it's pretty strict. So you can't have any like uh, variation of a swear word or anything like that in your server or it won't show up in the list. And it's strict to the point that if your server contains like um, something like this, where fast fishing is not a bad name for a server, it will flag the ass in your server name and your server may or may not show up in the list. So make sure when you're setting your name to set it something appropriate and that everything in the word is uh, appropriate. Switch map, this is how you temporarily switch uh, your server. This is not the map rotation. This is something like, I want my server to be San TTT all the time but right now I want to play OG Containers Deathmatch. I can run this command and temporarily switch my server OG, over to OG Containers Deathmatch. Once this uh, OG Containers Deathmatch is done on your server, it will go back to your regular rotation. To add a user as a mod, you run the add mod command. If you were on PC VR, you can use this handy little tool to find your Steam64 ID. This is what you copy and paste into Archon as your username to run the add mod command. If you are on Shack, this is your case sensitive Oculus username. So in this case, Messiah Penguin. And then you run that command. You can verify that you have been added to the list if you go to remove mod. You can refresh the Pavlov Archon page, go to remove mod, and you will see who is on the list. If you have any questions with your Pavlov configuration, the first place you should look is the frequently asked questions. Odds are it's answered here, but if you still need help, you can email info at arctic-vr.com. The place to ask questions is not in the YouTube comments. Nobody reads those. You go to the Pavlov Discord at joinarctic.com or you can email. 